Born in Hong Kong of Chinese, Welsh and Persian descent, Kara Mock is an actress and singer-songwriter who has enjoyed phenomenal success in Asia since her debut in 1993. Though not considered a traditional Chinese beauty, Karen has established herself as one of the most popular entertainers in China with a unique voice and distinctive acting style. She has appeared in over 40 films, including Shaolin Soccer, one of the highest grossing films in Hong Kong's history. In the field of music, Karen has released 15 albums, which have won her major awards, such as the prestigious Golden Melody Award in Taiwan. She also has brought her music to a global audience with the international launch of her debut English jazz album Somewhere I Belong. The floor and I see it needs sweeping. And after a three-month vacation in South America with her German husband, Karen is back with a new album, Departures. Hello and welcome to this edition of the ICOM. I'm Ji Jing in the studio in Beijing. And together with me in the studio, welcome Karen Mark. Welcome Hi. to the studio. Thank you very much. Congratulations on this new album thanks very much departures yes what exactly do you mean by by this is it a departure from your three month vacation or a holiday that <laughs> was the departure <laughs> right, right. I shouldn't have come that back. was the departure from routines right <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but you're back to normal life yes, yes. but what exactly mm -hmm. is the uh, the key message of this album um it's about um well goodbye and farewell and which is what we do every day basically mm. we say goodbye to many people and different things and we set out on, we're always constantly on a journey. We're looking for, you know, we might be traveling to a new destination all the time. And basically that's how my life has been mapped out mm. since, uh, well, since I started my career 22 years ago. <laughs> yeah, wow. so I'm always on the move. I'm constantly, you know, yeah, going to the next thing. And, but, but I love it. That, that's kind of the rhythm that I'm right. used to. And I'm just, you know, me, myself and my suitcase. <laughs> Yeah, yeah and, there is and a I'm song, a, just one suitcase. Yeah, yeah. just one suitcase. Yeah. And, um, uh, and, and that's actually what I did on my trip. I, I uh, forced myself to bring only one suitcase. Well, it could be yeah. a very large one, though. It was, yeah, a very good sized one. But, um, right. but it was a challenge to be able to pack everything for three months in just But one if you suitcase. look at the Chinese name, it's actually Busan Buji. And yeah. if you translate it into English, it would be like, no departures, no reunions. It's yes. like, slightly yeah. different. Yeah, from because the departures. Um, well, every time I think of the word departures, the next thing, the next word that comes to mind would be mm. arrival. Mm. So, so that's kind of like the, um, it's not an, a, a, an exact literal translation mm. uh, of the Chinese title, but, um, but we love the Chinese title because that's also the name of one of the songs, one of the key songs in the album. And, and I also like the, uh, the po positive vibe to, to this whole idea of farewell. It's not just about saying goodbye. It's not the end of it, even no. when you bid farewell. It's always hopeful. Yes, and in Chinese, Zai Jin is actually well, see you to again. see you again. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I, I know this is a cliche question, but is there a favorite? <laughs> oh, it's impossible I to know, pick. I know. And um, I think I have a favorite at, well, different times. Uh, so when I was traveling, uh, and I was listening to, to the album, probably the favorite and the, the, the most, um, uh, uh, well, adequate one was um, Jing Wai, uh, Beyond, Beyond Borders, Beyond Borders yeah. yeah, because um, like in the song, one. I really love it, it, it's, oh, it feels so big, mm. and, and it talks about 
you know, the, the glaciers or the, the, the rainforest, and it actually describes such, such places, and I was actually there. But that song you mentioned, Beyond Borders, I, and I like It's All Good, and I mm -hmm. like Departures. Mm -hmm. But I mean, many of these sounds, at this time around, the first question is, all these sounds are actually composed and written by other musicians. Yes, not like ex except your previous for half the song. Yeah, yeah. album, yeah. right? Because that's also a departure from, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, right, last, from the, routine, right? the last album. But yeah. at the same time, we're mm -hmm. also seeing that you're not teaming up with you know, different generations yeah. of musicians. Yeah. Any yeah. special consideration out of that? Um, I'm always you know, on the lookout for, for well, great people mm. doing you know, great work. And uh, and especially for this album, I, I, I do feel, uh, you know, at this moment in time, I want to have some new, you know, new stuff elements. coming in. Yeah. Freshness. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm also excited to see how it is to work with, you know, people I have not worked with, and what they see in me, and what they could kind of bring out within me. Uh, what's yeah. the result? And what, what, what and the I, new stuff that you found? It's a very good result. Yeah. Um, this album is is very. Uh, complete mm. and and it's a very personal one um, more so than all the previous ones that, that I've put out uh, this is really about myself and, is, is, and, and about um, me during this time in, in my life uh, I can kind of you know look back comfortably and, and, and kind of you know see how uh, how I've been departing from one place and going on to the next and and then all that uh, 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 it seems very clear to me now because I think I've moved on to a different stage in my life ever since I've got married. Um, I think certain things uh, have changed within me and I've got a you know, slightly different perspective to, to life itself. Well, I've actually I've heard things like that uh, from different occasions, from different mm. musicians, like life and your career. Sometimes did they complement mm -hmm. with each other? Yeah. Do you also feel so? This is my life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, it can be reflected in, in mm. your work, in your music work, actually. Yeah, but because I'm really living the life that, that I've always dreamed of, to be mm. able to perform, have my own stage and be able to express myself through music, through performance, that, mm. that's the only thing I've ever wanted to do. So it's my dream life. Yeah. And you've been doing yeah. that for over 20 yeah, years. Yeah, and still loving it. Because you, you're still in this entertainment world and you know, your label company, they might have a different consideration. Mm. Uh, they ne need to worry about the sales numbers. Yeah. And you may focus on the quality of your own music. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Are there any compromises you have to make? I think I'm also uh, quite an astute businesswoman too. <laughs> no, no, the, the business side of it is of course very, uh, very crucial. Mm. Um, so that's why all the more you should make something that lasts, something that's classic that could, mm. you know, withstand, you know, time and everything. Then they can keep selling it forever and ever. <laughs> and so far, so good. Is you're I hope doing so. well? You're I hope doing so. Well, actually. Yeah, we um, we did very well on uh, iTunes and when it was released, released digitally and and also. Uh, we put in a lot of effort in the um, actual CD format because mm. it's not just a CD, it's, um, it's, a passport, it's the right? whole thing, yeah, it's a passport. <laughs> and boarding pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um, so well, just to enhance the whole idea and uh, the, the concept of departures. Do, mm. Does that principle also apply to your previous one, the jazz album? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I would say it's a bold move for you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to do a not totally English because mm. there, there are two Couple, Chinese yeah. sounds, but mm -hmm. mostly yes. you know in English mm. and it's it's jazz. Yeah. I and mean, you've been in pop for so many years. All of a sudden, it seems yeah. you're moving to a new era. Uh, but jazz is my biggest passion in music. It's it's uh, something that really um, uh, I just went crazy for jazz 
during my university days. So it's, it's something that really shaped me musically as well. And to be able to do my dream mm. jazz album was, was, was amazing. Was so that's, that was pretty much like a personal dream because you've been mm. wanting to do an album in jazz like that. And, and that's yeah. like the moment. Yeah. And then also to be able to um, mix jazz uh, with Chinese and oriental elements. I think mm. that, that was kind you of You got your the, Gujong in it. Yeah, it, and I, I still have it. It's, <laughs> I take it everywhere with me now. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. So you, mm. you started actually Gujong, the zither, when mm -hmm. you were little, right? And um, I was like, when I was a teenager, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was playing in the Chinese orchestra in Hong Kong, and mm. I was quite serious about it. Uh, and then, and it's, it's, I feel really good that I can still make use of it now that I'm doing pop. jazz album is mm. more like you were singing to yourself you know this album mm -hmm. is like you're you're more sharing open yeah. up to your your fans to your friends right right right. i think yeah the jazz album was was very intimate i think you could call it that um it, it's a different vibe anyway mm. and uh but this one um it's it, i'm back in, you know doing the so pop once again you're not back to your to, to your my roots well, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. to your old track and yes yeah. i was very much actually impressed mm. by uh the mv of uh the track of the same name uh, departures all oh, right uh, it was played mm. by a different girl but later on you came up yeah and yeah. there was that uh, gentleman sitting right. she was like a father in figure in, so, in the in the music video yeah any special mm. message in that video um we um, you were you were in the, the white wedding gown yeah and it's not meant to be a wedding gown but <laughs> it kind of everything just fell into place because um well first of all we we figured uh, we'd like to have kind of different characters playing different you know stories and that's to bring out that well that you know saying goodbye is something that everyone has to deal with in life and then my role in the music video is really mm. kind of just as a as a wrap up so I come in at the very end and then the, it wasn't anybody's intention that I mm. should wear a white dress. And, but I just happened to have this dress, which I thought was beautiful. And I figured, you know, I, I should wear something that's simple and elegant and nice. Um, and so, well, yeah, I, I, I wore that dress. And uh, when we got there and, and how the director had designed to you know, set up that shot, was really uncanny because then I was standing in the doorway with a backlight, so I was entering into the shot, you know, in, in uh, my, it was my silhouette coming in. And so it looked like a bride in a wedding gown walking down the aisle and towards- To the father the figure. Father, and, and that's something which did not happen in real life for me because when I got married, my, my dad, because he had some, you know, health issues and he couldn't, because uh, my wedding was in Italy and he couldn't make the trip to fly over to Italy, so he didn't actually come to the church wedding, but of course we had um, another wedding party back in Hong Kong afterwards, but then the actual moment of walking down the aisle in, in the church, he didn't really witness it with his own eyes. But then it happened when we were shooting that music video and I, I was completely shocked because no one had you know, any Plant intention of, of doing that, it just happened. And, and so for me, it, 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 and also because of my dad's passing last year, and also it was while I was doing this album, just everything kind of, oh, goodness, it, 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 it's like, um, well, I don't know. I mean, some, some exterior force seems seem to have kind of fulfilled some unfinished wish. Mm. 
um, of mine, and then yeah, so 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 it felt uh, it felt good and it felt uh, <laughs> very weird at the same time. It's great to see you still very active in this industry after 20-something years. It's not easy. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm definitely one of the very fortunate ones. What do you like most about being a wife? Oh, that someone cooks for me all the time. <laughs> do you feel it a pressure to, to be even a better wife because you are so successful? No, I, I just feel that he should treat me like a queen anyway. <laughs> <laughs>
because every live performance is is a new one. It's a different one. Mm. You can't replicate, uh, you know, a previous performance. So mm. so and that's the challenge. Uh, and I think I'm I'm even more the real me when when I'm you know on stage as a singer because I have no inhibitions. I could just sing my heart out and mm. whatever. I mean, I yeah, I don't have any kind of thing to hold me back. But whereas in real life, sometimes you have to. Play different There's roles. a bit of acting involved. Exactly. I mean, you're different when you're with your parents and you're different when you're with your friends. So you're playing different roles all the yeah. time. Yeah. Well, this next question is easy for you. What do you like most about being a traveler <laughs> as a tourist? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I can't you get enough of You just came back it. from that three month. Yeah, you know, yeah, but can you believe like it? Heaven. This three month break uh, uh, was the first time I ever took, took out such a long time from work. So I've been just mm. slogging away <laughs> for 22 <laughs> years and then, and then suddenly I discovered, um, well actually, you know what, I mean, working is, 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 is great and doing what you love every day is great, but um, also, you know, just going out, do something different, go to unknown places and see things that you've not seen before, that's mm. amazing. And I think, you know, everyone needs a bit of that every now and then. Because I also j just came back from South America. Mm -hmm, you went to mm -hmm, Argentina, mm -hmm. I've yeah, been there. Yeah. And we went to some similar places like the Iguazu waterfall, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. glaciers in El mm. Calafate. I also, I just uh, came back from uh, Antarctica, a trip from Antarctica. I know that. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I know that luck. <laughs> I know you want to go. Yeah. But I just, everything mm. is so unreal, mm. so surreal and yes. so peaceful, yeah. yet you have to come back to to work, to real that's life. something to real life <laughs> yeah, you don't want to yeah, do. But yeah. at the same time, we are really opening up our horizons and basically we're seeing a different side of the world. Mm -hmm. It's not just the world we live in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you feel the same? Yes, yes, indeed. And um, the world is huge and, and we're just a very small, minuscule part in, 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 well, our own little universe. But then sometimes you kind of you know get stuck in it and you don't even realize it so that's why traveling is so important i mm. mean just to put yourself back into perspective um and the world into perspective mm. and and then have an open mind and 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 uh, yeah i come back and i, I feel that um something's got to change i don't know what it is but <laughs> I'm you're gonna work on harder it. or less <laughs> uh. <laughs> you're wearing bosses away <laughs> you can't tell yeah, me the truth right, right. <laughs> Along with the successful career, Karen Mock has a fairy tale like marriage. In June 2011, Karen married her German boyfriend Johannes Natura in Florence. He was her first love when both were 17 year olds studying in Italy. Uh, what do you like most about being a wife? <laughs> that someone cooks for me all the time. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. your husband cooks for you. I'm really fortunate. Not every single day because yes. we're not always constantly together. I mean, we're married, but then we, we're still, we still have to Different spend a lot careers, of time apart yeah. because yeah. he works in London, I work here. Um, but then whenever we're back in London, um, he's in charge of the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Lucky so, you. Yes, I'm very lucky indeed. Yeah. But I mean, is it, is it really quite a challenge to be in the show business, but at the same time to try to have a private life? No, not at all. I mm -hmm. mean, yeah, I mean, it, it depends on you know, how you look at things. Mm. I mean, it's just a, a job at the end of the day. Uh, and I mean, it's got its privileges too, but, uh, but I, I, I try to keep, you know, my feet on the ground. Yeah. Well, but your husband, is he okay uh, with the fact that you're actually such a successful artist? Does it feel, does he <laughs> feel any kind of a pressure, say? Um, I think he's gradually <laughs> believing that it's all true. <laughs> <laughs> when you're mad, when you're mad back in Europe, yeah. and he didn't really realize you were so successful yeah, at the time. Yeah, he kind of heard about it from other friends, but then, um, and then that was back many years ago when we right. had our first college reunion oh yeah and um so that was before kind of you know the internet and everything i mean before it's like so uh popular so um and uh and because my my chinese name is mock but then my my actual name is morris so yes. he googled he tried to google karen morris my my you know the name he knew me by mm -hmm. back then and he didn't really find anything and then he's like oh, i'm really <laughs> sorry for her i'm sure her career isn't going so well 
But on the other side of the story, do you feel it a pressure to to be even a better wife because you are so successful in your career back home? Say. No, I, I just feel that he should treat me like a queen anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and he did, right, yeah. during the trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you shared so many yeah. uh, interesting photos yeah. on the web. Yeah, and yeah. No, he's really into it as well. He knows that, you know, I, 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 I want to um, tweet everything back mm. and share with my f fans. And then, and then he, he's, yeah, he was, you know, doing... Well, taking the pictures for me, and, mm. and um, he even persuaded me to take off my bikini top <laughs> and jump topless right. into the ocean. And then, right. Because your fans will love it. <laughs> so, you know, he, he gets it, yeah. <laughs> Back to this album. This is actually the first album after you got married, right? Um, not, not apart from, apart from the, the jazz, uh, the, the one, jazz yeah, one, the first Chinese album. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but do, do you feel any different when producing this one? You know, getting married uh, yeah. and not married? I, I think so. Um, because I think having moved on to the next stage in mm. my life, I think that's kind of you know changed me in certain ways. Definitely uh, uh, mm. in the fact that I'm not so so much an alcohol, uh, not sorry, not alcohol workaholic uh -huh. anymore. I, I still am. I mean, I, I think right. I will always be. But um, but now I'm aware that apart from loving my job and you know you know putting all my you know time and energy into my work. I also have to make space and time for other things in life which are equally important. Mm. So like my family, husband, friends, everything. Different roles. You know, so so I'm getting uh, uh, in, uh, better at balancing my life now than before. Well, it yeah. has a lot, mm. I guess, to do with age. And here comes this mm -hmm. question. <laughs> are you afraid of getting old? You can't. You can't be afraid of getting old because it happens to everyone, whether mm. you like it or not. So mm. you might as well just embrace it, right? Mm. And then every age has... Uh, it probably... I, th I think it brings different things to your life. I mean, um, it brings wisdom <laughs> as well. Mm. And, uh, and, and a certain confidence um, about yourself as well. I think, yeah, um, I don't think I've changed so much um, mm -hmm. uh, appearance-wise, um, you know, comparing now to yep. you know, when I was 20 years old, but, but I mean, of, of course, a little bit, but then not <laughs> such, you know, such a drastic change. Uh, but then I think I feel very different, mm. and I actually feel better about myself now than before. Uh, do yeah. you think that, say, in the coming another 20 years, you'll be still doing the same thing as a singer, actor? Um... The thing is, there's nothing else I, I'd like to do. Maybe now that I've discovered the joy of traveling, uh, <laughs> I could right. become a travel blogger or something right, like that. Right, right, right. <laughs> well, you can still do yeah. so while yeah. you're, you're a singer. Right, right, right. right yeah. We look forward mm -hmm. to that. Eh? Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you once again for coming thank to the studio. Thank you very much.